Congratulations to the MMT guys, because we got it all right. And not only that, MMT is now starting to really break out into the mainstream. Last weekend, really nice article appeared in the Washington Post. The Washington Post, of course, one of the most well-known newspapers in the country. And in the recent past, we've seen articles in the New York Times, we've seen articles in The Economist magazine, we've seen articles in The Financial Times, and we've seen articles pop up all over the blogosphere and not just on MMT-related blogs, but pretty much on many different types of financial and economic blogs. So that's a fantastic, fantastic accomplishment. I'm very proud as somebody who's been involved in the movement for the last 10 years uh, to see this kind of notoriety for MMT, as it should be, I want to add, because it really is the most rational and concise uh, school of economic thought, uh, the, the best when it comes to the operational understanding of our monetary system, not just in the United States, but around the world. So it's a fantastic accomplishment. I'm very proud. And let's just, let me just go on record to say, and I've said this before, the MMT guys got everything right. And I'm not the only person who said that. I mean, CNBC actually stated that back in January. The only guys who got everything right last year were the MMT guys. And we're talking about um, events in Europe. We're talking about uh, the downgrade of the U.S. credit rating and how that did not equate to a spike in interest rates, uh, how quantitative easing was not inflationary, how it did not hurt the dollar, how um, uh, interest rates have stayed low, historically low, despite all the warnings and concerns about the debt and the national debt. So we were the ones who got everything right and the Austrians and the other groups basically got everything wrong. They were worried about an interest rate spike, they were worried about hyperinflation, they were worried about a, an inflationary depression, they were worried about, remember Bill Gross, who's going to buy them now when the quantitative easing ended and he was concerned that there wouldn't be anybody to buy uh, U.S. Treasuries when in fact we know from modern monetary theory that the funds to buy treasuries come from government spending itself. And it, indeed, it's the expansion in that public debt which allows interest rates to come down. So it's the exact opposite uh, what happens, the exact opposite to the belief of the others who have it completely wrong. So fantastic news. MMT really breaking out into the mainstream. Uh, its founders deserve a lot of credit. People like Warren Mosler and Randy Ray and Bill Mitchell, these people deserve a lot of credit. Um, they've worked tirelessly to put the, these ideas and these concepts out there. They're incredibly smart, brilliant people, and they're also unbelievably humble, really. You don't see any of that institutional arrogance uh, that comes from the economic establishment out there. And it's great that, you know, this is a David and Goliath story. I mean, really, David, the MMT group rising up against the Goliaths of establishment economics and really presenting a major challenge and, and raising questions uh, that um, you know the orthodox economics community cannot basically answer their theories and their ideas cannot answer these questions only MMT can so it's a great time to be associated with a fantastic movement like MMT I'm proud it's fantastic see you next time bye